Thank you so much for having me here today. I'd first like to thank uh, Dr. Sena for having me, and I'd like to uh, introduce, begin by introducing myself. My name is Naila Al Khalifa. I am a virtual reality artist artist from the Kingdom of Bahrain, and uh, I use virtual reality as a medium for my art. And my art usually surrounds the themes of uh, ancient cultures and civilizations, as well as the human condition. Uh, my personal journey began in 2017. I started, uh, my husband and I started building our own computer and our own virtual reality station. And I have combined my studies of ancient art uh, into uh, the, the virtual reality space and decided to, um, to integrate my, my studies into virtual reality. I have hosted uh, several virtual reality art talks in person and online to talk about uh, the, the p potential for immersive learning as well as um, a, a means of experiencing art in an immersive environment. I also exhibited my virtual reality art in uh, annual art exhibitions where there are there were several schools that got to that got to visit and experience my art and I've also worked with uh, the embassy of the kingdom of Bahrain in Washington DC to bring uh, the the uh, themes of these ancient cultures to uh, the states and I have done several works in my, in my career, but I'd like to highlight a couple of those works in this presentation. Uh, my very first virtual reality art installation is The Land Where the Sun Rises. And that is a title that is taken from an ancient poem from Mesopotamia uh, that describes the ancient land of Dilmun. And Dilmun is the, la the land of the uh, modern day Bahrain, where I'm from. And this, this piece is uh, significant in that it highlights the artifacts that my, gran my grandmother has worked with because she is one of the first archaeologists in the region. Um, and uh, I wanted to dedicate this piece to her as well as the ancient land of Dilma was once uh, an ancient paradise. The viewer begins by uh, viewing the ancient ruins and enters into the middle ruin into this ancient paradise that is done in the ancient art style of Dilma. The next piece shows um, the, the deities uh, that the, uh, the ancient people used to worship. Uh, instead of actually creating these deities, I have instead decided to take the symbols that represent these deities and, uh, and put them in an artwork that, um, that I'd like to call the Mesopotamian fear because these deities were feared by these ancient peoples. So you see the, um, the, go the goddess Ishtar, Shamash, Sin and uh, the one that is mo most famous in uh, the ancient land of Dilmun, the water, the water god Enki. The next art piece is also of significance in my work in that it was commissioned by the uh, the kingdom of the embassy of the kingdom of Bahrain during a national day event in Washington D.C. And this is a uh, this represent this best represents the architectural features of uh, Bahrain. So you have a traditional home that is painted in an impressionist style, painted in virtual reality, uh, except that it is um, it is as if the viewer is walking through a painting rather than walking through an actual 3D model of the house. And uh, several there are several guests that got to experience this house and experience the different significant architectural features such as the wind tower, uh, the courtyard, the shaded uh, walkways of the, the traditional house. And, um, and I, I called it the, the house of Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, which is located in the island of Al Muharraq. Moving on uh, to the next art piece, which highlights the human condition. Uh, this art piece, um, is one of the many that I have done highlighting the human condition because I felt that in order to, to learn more about ourselves and the subjects that are that we can relate to, I decided to delve into thoughts. So this uh, is called the Soul Travel Corridor. It is a combination of two other pieces that I have done in the past. And uh, what it is, is the traveling of a soul from the material world into the afterlife. So the piece begins by the viewer viewing a door that is closed. It is black and white, it is structured, it, um, it imitates the Abla architecture that is located in Syria and Damascus, and it is made with uh, Islamic geometry. So this is the geometry that our human minds um, 
have measured and understood this world. As the viewer walks down the corridor, the, our, the geometry begins to loosen and break apart, therefore revealing a world that is not defined by our mortal minds. And at the end of the corridor, you see these geometrical features that are, that are seen from that are seen in space. For example, the orbit of Venus at the very end of the art piece. This is actually the orbital path uh, that, that the planet Venus makes in, in, our, in our solar system. And this is the soul going into the oneness or, or of, as, as we believe in Islam, the oneness of God or the, the, the infinite wisdom of God. And the... The reason for me creating all of these art pieces, hopefully, is, to, is for viewers to have a psychological connection, not only to uh, the, the ancient art world and the civilizations that we once knew, but also to the human condition and what we, can, what we all can relate to and what connects us all um, uh, as people. And so I, I aim to re night this this want of exploration this want of exploring our minds as well as these ancient cultures that don't exist anymore that we only have artifacts of um and and uh, as well as well as bringing these immersive experiences into museums for example uh hoping to to reignite this want to connect to these ancient cultures and i know that the digitization of cultural heritage is it can be found in places such as google poly and sketchfab but i feel that digital models may not be enough, therefore immersive experiences um, are, are, are needed. Uh, my, hopefully my vision for, for future projects is the reconstruction of uh, uh, large-scale re reconstructions of ancient civilizations um, with as a means to preserve this cultural heritage and to learn from it even more in depth. And not only that, but also creating an interactive immersive experience. So think of uh, art and games in combination with research and technology, uh, creating this experience that 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 can that uh, that students, uh, uh, well, younger students and older students can can learn from, and uh, it will create a better memory retention if they immerse themselves into the art piece rather than just looking at it, and. Uh, Hopefully through this, again, I reiterate, this ignites the interest of uh, students to uh, explore and understand the ancient world and ancient civilizations, as well as the, the human condition.
year, when the UA celebrated the Year of Tolerance, we were taking students on journeys to ancient Egypt and even inside Pharaoh's tomb. The students were also visiting Notre Dame du Paris after it's been brought down by fire. One of my personal favorite artworks of Mela is the Delman's Burial Mount. Besides being a feast for the eye, it is such a creative preservation for the heritage. How do you think VR will encourage students to learn history and culture better? I believe that uh, actually, it, instead, of, for example, instead of uh, having uh, a, a trip to a place that does not exist anymore, uh, creating that place in the virtual environment as it once was will will help children uh, or students understand what that place used to be instead of uh, and then and then get to see it in real life but but uh, creating that psychological connection to the place and what it once was and what it once looked like uh will um will further um interest them in the subject thank you doctor thank you for having me thank you so much Neda. it was such a pleasure to have you with us